Well, three manatees, including a calf, are safe tonight. Stuck in a pond after Hurricane Michael, the floodwaters pushed them into the pond, and when they receded, the manatees couldn't get out. Yeah, Fox 13's Lois Towers has been in Oldsmar all day watching the rescue. He joins us now live. I know you have some good news for us, Lloyd. Yeah, Kelly, it's a dramatic and exhausting rescue that started at 8 o'clock in the morning. And just a few minutes ago, that third and final manatee that was trapped was rescued and released into Old Tampa Bay. We'll show you where that manatee is now. In fact, where all three of those manatees are now, back where they started in Old Tampa Bay, back before Hurricane Michael. Let's look at the video of that third manatee being rescued from that pond now. This is the tidal pond that adjoins Old Tampa Bay that these three manatees were uh, trapped in. Uh, they had to physically pull them out of the water with a net. They had volunteers and biologists and veterinarians. And when they finally got them on shore, the veterinarians checked them over, took their vital signs, inserted a microchip for tracking. It was an exhausting but successful day for these rescues of these manatees. And here's what the leader of this rescue operation had to say just a few minutes ago. Listen here. It was a lot of work. Uh, this is not the easy place to catch. There's a lot of things snagging our net. The, the, the mud is pretty thick. But uh, overall, I mean, the process is this team here with, with FWC, uh, Clearwater Aquarium, UF, we, uh, Larry Park Zoo in Tampa. We all work well together. We know this process, so it, it went pretty smoothly for what it was. Yeah, and here's the payoff for their work. Here's the release of the young male manatee, the youngest of the three, earlier this afternoon. He gave them a hard slap of the tail and a splash as he headed back into old Tampa Bay from whence he came before that high tide from Michael trapped him in that pond. And now we have some new video from just a few minutes ago. A look at this new video uh, of this young female, the third and final, the very elusive manatee who eluded rescuers all day long in that pond. She was rescued from that pond where she was trapped by the hurricane. You know, several years ago, some other manatees were trapped in that same pond, uh, and now the state and the city will be taking a look at that connection between the pond and Old Tampa Bay to see if they can improve that and perhaps keep other manatees from becoming trapped. But as we come back out live here and prepare for a sunset on Old Tampa Bay, the news is good. Three manatees that were trapped are rescued, are free tonight, and are in good health. It's a happy ending. Mark and Kelly. Oh, back it to you. is. I'm, and I'm glad, you, uh, Lloyd, we were able to show that when they swim away like that. People who've never seen manatees swim like that, that really shows you how strong and how fast they can be. It's unless you see it in person, unless you see the video, it's really an amazing thing. You'd never believe it unless you didn't see it. No.